Hello, my name is Luba Merlachuk, and I'm in Fort Henry in Kingston, Ontario, a World Heritage UNESCO site. It's here that the campaign for acknowledgement and redress began. I learned about how thousands of Ukrainians and other Europeans were unjustly imprisoned in 24 Canadian internment camps, not because of any wrong they had done, but only because of who they were, where they had come from. Soon after I met Mikola Sakaluk, a man who told me that he'd been interned as an enemy alien right here in Fort Henry. I met Mary Monko Haskett, who told me that as a young child born in Canada in Montreal, she'd been interned along with the rest of her family in Spear Lake, Quebec. When asked Mary what she expected in return for this recovered memory, she said any campaign the Ukrainian Canadian community mounts for redress should be about memory, not money. And so it was with great pleasure that in 1994, on the 4th of August, we unveiled the first trilingual commemorative plaque recalling Canada's first national internment operations here in Kingston, Ontario, inside Fort Henry. I'm Peter Goheen. I taught at Queen's University in the Geography Department from 1974 until I retired in 2004. I was trained as an urban geographer and my research focus has been on cities. The story in Kingston was actually really very important and it was important because of the way in which the law or the administration of the law abrogated their rights during the period of war. It raised a question of principle. How were the U Ukrainians regarded that they could be treated this way? If we're going to say that we're ashamed of it and we don't want to share our shame, well, then we're not, I think, being fair to the young people of the present and the future. By bringing uh, this kind of knowledge into existence, I think that we can learn and I think that we can actually be proud of the fact that we're willing to stare at something, to investigate, to look hard at something which we regard now as a mistake. And maybe even to ask the question, why was it not regarded as a mistake in the past? If we can understand the thinking of the past, that might actually help us as well as bringing it correct to the future. The experience of internees in Fort Henry in World War I is an important matter for Canadians to understand today, a lesson which hopefully we won't have to relearn.